Well, good morning, everyone. It's Friday, January 19th, 2024. We get together with our distribution partners most weekday mornings at this time, 8 o'clock Central. Talk about strategies, tips, techniques, share success stories, and support each of you. As uh, for those of you that have been around, you may know that on Fridays, we try to make it a little bit more of a concise, a shorter session because we're all out there trying to finish up the week strong. Uh, we've been commonly uh, referencing the quote that Thomas Kearns gave us recently. He's one of our branch offices, one of our top branches. Every day is payday. That's what Thomas Kearns says to us and says to others. As a branch, every day you should be enrolling at least one client. Now, that's not a requirement. It's not a mandate, but that's a good goal to have, and it's a very attainable goal. So let's talk about why that people would want to enroll every day. So just like Thomas Kearns says, every day is payday. So I'm sharing with you chapmanloanprogram.org, our resource site. This does a good job of providing you as a branch office an overview and access to many of the resources that describes what we do and how we do it. Of course, if you become one of our branch offices, most of you are, are already, then we provide you editable versions of all these different resources. And you should have those. And if not, be sure to reach out to us and you know how to reach us via phone and via email. If you're not a, a branch office, you're not a distribution partner, but you'd like to be, then that is the bottom link under grant resources. But our topic today is just briefly, why would you be able to sign someone up once a day? Isn't that too good to be true? Or is that an exaggeration? Is that really possible? Well, let's step back for a moment. What is the problem that you and I solve? You and I help people get funding to start or grow a business. That's what we do. But the important thing that we do, the credible thing that we do, the most important element is we help them become fundable. Because you can't just say, oh, I want money. I need money. Just give me money. It doesn't work that way. We need to have a fundable business. So we applied for and received the grant. We administer the startup business funding package. And that's what we do, as is stated on this page. We legally and ethically, effectively and efficiently help entrepreneurs have a fundable business. A big part of what you and I do is educate because th that's a key concept there, as simple as the words are. If you want funding, you need to have a fundable business. If you want business funding, you need to have a fundable business. Well, the problem is most people don't even know what it means to have a fundable business. So that's why education, financial literacy building is integral to what you and I do. We have a number of resources that we use located here on this website. And again, we provide you editable versions. So you have this video here, which talks about the comparison document that we recommend that you use one-on-one -on -one with clients. If you're not familiar with it, you can view it here. If you don't have the editable version, let us know. And then for a more detailed extensive financial literacy message, then we have what we call the 10 mistake PowerPoint that we provide you an editable version of that you can teach in person online to individual small groups or large groups. But the, the most crucial concept we've covered so far is what you and I do. We create fundable businesses because that's a prerequisite to getting funding. A lot of people aren't thinking like that. I just want money. I just need money. Well, is your business fundable? They might say, I don't know. Then fine. You can help them determine that through education, through the comparison sheet, and or through the full PowerPoint. Now, what you and I know, frankly, most small businesses are not fundable, which is bad for them, but it's great for you and I because we fix that problem, right? We fix broken businesses. So, what is included that would cause someone to want to enroll so you could enroll on average one person a day? Well, number one, through the grant for free. It's in all capital letters. Maybe we should make that bold as well. 
What do they get when they participate in the startup business funding package? Number one, they get a free unique business address. How much does it cost? It's free. The grant covers it. Second, we file with the Secretary of State so they have an entity that's in good standing. How much does that cost them? Nothing. It's free. The grant pays for it. Third, we're going to help them get their EIN and business bank account. How much does that cost? It's free. So with these three elements, this is what it takes to have a foundation, not a fundable business, but the foundation to create a fundable business. You will inevitably run into some people that have that already, and that's fine. That doesn't disqualify them. That's great. If they already have those three elements, awesome. Let's move forward then. Get them enrolled, and then for them, we'll start on bullet four. They're moving fast. They're fast-tracking it, right? That's great. So then... The fourth element that the grant provides for how much for free is helping the client have credit worthiness. Talking about the business under the EIN. So we're going to help them build out their business credit profile and we're going to help them add free primary trade lines. Free, 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 and free. So we're doing a whole lot for free. So when you think about, well, yeah, I don't know if I can get a client a day the way Thomas Kearns is doing. He, he must have some special superpowers that I don't have. No, he doesn't. He's a smart guy. He's no smarter than the rest of you. He just is willing to go communicate to people to help them solve their problems. Because we know that most, not all, but most small business owners want to need funding. Most small business owners do not have a fundable business. That is the problem that we fix. Sure. I know a lot of them, they don't care about the details, right? They don't, they don't give a hoot about all this. They just want the funding. But, but that's, that's not realistic. You have to have a fundable business if you want to get business funding. And that's what we provide. And because of the grant, they're getting all kinds of resources for free. Let's go on down to the, the second to the last bullet. Also, what we provide to them is we transfer over $10,000. We get lots of questions about this. Is it real? Yes. Yes, it is real. $10,000 in assets. We're transferring over. We're putting on their financials, putting on their balance sheet. Now they have collateral, and then we can help them liquidate those receivables, liquidate those receivables to turn into cash. So once we have these elements, we have a fundable business. Then we go to funding. Where would we go to funding? We can go lots of places. One of our favorites is the Chapman Fund because it's through a taxing authority. We don't have to actually go to a bank to apply. But there's many, many, many places that a fundable business can get funding. That's the whole point. So I don't think it's a leap at all if, if you're of average intelligence or higher, and all of you, I believe, are way beyond that, to be able to enroll a client a day. So you can follow the Thomas Kearns model that every day is paid it. Think about the average person. The average person, their favorite days at work are holidays or days off, PTO sometimes called, and then payday. Well, your every day is payday. You probably don't even desire for a day off because every day should be payday. We should be helping people every day. We talk to a good number of people that are broke. I don't know if there's something changing in the economy, but there's just some people that are broke. They don't need to be broke. They can come work for you. So let's say that you're talking to a small business owner. They want or need funding, right? And, and this, this is just exactly what they need because they're not a fundable business. And they say, well, I'm sorry, Marilyn. I'm stone cold broke. Whatever I've done through my life has resulted in I'm stone cold broke, Marilyn. I need this. I want this. But I'm stone cold broke. Then what you do is bring them on. Help them earn income. Make them part of your team. To, to think that you need to run your branch as a lone ranger, as a solo operator, is ridiculous. Your branch should absolutely be bringing in at least $1,000 a day, and that's the front end. And then, of course, we have the performance fee on the back end that you choose. So th this, this should be a six-figure-a-month business for you by helping just one client a day. 
it's ridiculous to think that you need to do it all yourself. So if you have prospective clients that say, yeah, 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 this is what I need, but they're like, I'm stone cold broke, then give them, teach them how to fish, right? You, you don't need to give what things away. I don't, I don't think people want gifts. Give them a chance to earn it. Let them become part of your team. Maybe they go out and teach the workshop, or maybe they go out and, and conduct these comparison assessments. But give people a chance. All right, so we're going to open it up for Q&A, and then we're going to wrap it up at 15 after the hour. Uh, Marilyn's asking as far as recommendations of how to, to pay your team. And, and it's really up to you. You're, you're Marilyn and the rest of you, you all are CEOs of your branch. You're the executive directors, presidents. You're the boss. You're the boss. The capital B, you're the boss. So it's really up to you what you want to pay people. You could pay them as W-2 or 1099. You could pay them based upon hours worked or based upon results. It's up to you. It's up to you. But I, I think it's true that there's two types of people. There's people that are entrepreneurial that would not ever want an hourly wage. That's the last thing in the world they want. They want to be able to earn what they're worth. And then you have the employee mindset people that want to be paid per hour. So be careful. Most of us are entrepreneurs, of course. So just be careful in trying to go shove an entrepreneurial model on someone that has an employee mindset because employee mindset people want to be paid hourly. But it's up to you. It's up to you. All right. So who else has questions on the concept of enrolling one client a day using the Thomas Kearns model that every day is payday? Literally, all of you should be paid today. I was talking to a gentleman yesterday, and he is the president of a chamber of commerce. The president. Smart man. But broke. Broke. So it's interesting how many people out there are broke, even though he's the president of the Chamber of Commerce of a given area. Well, when you approach those key influencers and try to develop referral relationships, you may be more important to them than you think, because not only are you helping in that example, the chamber members, you're helping these people pay their bills, because there's a lot of people that are broke, and you can fix broke with what you and I do. All right, uh, Selena has got a great question. So on the startup business funding package, and, and we'll close on this, because again, we want to close uh, end at a quarter after the hour on Fridays. So the startup business funding package is $5,000. The grant covers half, and the participant pays the other half. That's the, uh, the norm. That's the norm. Now, Let's say that the clients or prospective client says to you, Selena, no, I, I don't have 2,500. You've got some options, right? You could say, all right, we'll split that. Uh, have them pay 1250, which is the portion we need to be able to implement our part. And then your half, because we split that 2,500, 50-50, then defer your part if you want. And I think that's what the gentleman from the chamber I just mentioned is going to do. So you could do that, or you could switch them over to the buy now, pay later lending. When they do the buy now, pay later option, they're only going to pay you $500, Selena. And so many of you are taking advantage of this. You can literally enroll people and they only put $500 down. Do they still get this free, free? free? Do, do they Are they getting all the same things, even though they've only put $500 down? Absolutely, they are. Absolutely, they are. But what we do is we finance at 0% interest the balance of their setup fee. So that is up to you. You control pricing. You can never, I don't think, you could ever come to me and complain, well, the pricing's wrong. You control the pricing. What do you want the pricing to be on the front end? And then what do you want the pricing to be on the back end? Do you want to charge them a performance fee or not? Do you want to make the upfront setup fee refundable or not? You're in control of pricing, but but that's what entrepreneurs do, right? If, if you start a business and you offer a good or a service, one of the most important things that you'll decide is how do you want to charge your clients? It's up to you. So keep that in mind. But the norm is people in, uh, leverage the grant, 
Grant pays half, participant pays you the other half. So they're paying 2,500. Of that 2,500, you and I split. Your branch keeps half for having developed the client. We get our half for doing all the work. We do all the work. You don't have to do any of the work. We do all the work. Then if you want to add a performance fee, you pick what it is. We split it 50-50. We do all the work. So that's the norm. But again, if you want to use the 500 down and the buy now, pay later, they still sign up on the same agreement. Then you collect just 500 from them. You keep half, send us half. We'll get them set up on the financing for the rest, 0%. And we'll still go right to work. They're going to get treated just the same. They're going to get all the resources, all the service. Everything's the same as far as the deliverable. So it's not like a layaway where they're not getting service until later. And, and if, if you can't offer, if, if you're not successful in selling this package for $500 out of pocket, then we may need to, to get someone on your team that's better at communicating with prospects because that's a hell of a deal. A hell of a deal. I mean, this is worth more than 500. This is worth more than 500. This is worth more than 500. This is worth more than 5,000, right? This is worth 10,000. So any bullet is worth more than they're putting out up front. And cumulatively, this is what creates a fundable business so they can go get adult money. All right. Well, thanks everybody for your time. Again, Fridays we cut short. We'll see you back on Monday morning. Between now and then, let's go enroll one client today. One client, just enroll one client today. Make today payday. Follow Thomas Kern's model. Make everyday payday. Let's make today payday. If you need help, you know our number, you know our email. We'll be here. See you Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye.